boom what up pythoners and pythonistas on youtube who want to learning who want to learn about python and web scraping welcome to another tutorial i am back i have been on vacation that's why there haven't been any videos from me lately or any activity i've been to india for vacation for two and a half weeks and then i have been on to uh, small trips around the world giving python courses in various cities in europe so that's why i have been away but it, it's good to be back and uh, let's now talk about this tutorial and before we start i would first thank every one of you for coming to my channel and watching this tutorial so i hope you enjoy this videos and in content so please subscribe and hit the like button and share or uh, share the content if you like it uh, please do comment if you have anything uh, to say to me i know uh, there are some comments that i haven't replied to yet but i'll get get to it all and also remember that you can have access to all the source code for all these video tutorials at the link that is shown here which you will find the link in description as well and this way you can help support me make so i can make this content for you guys and remember that you guys are my only source of income right now so hopefully you are able to support me in some way thank you for that and now let's get into the topic of uh, today's video is storing data so csv so CSV, which is uh, comma separator values, one of the most popular file, file formats in which to store spreadsheet data. It is supported by MS Excel, and you can create CSV files in MS uh, Excel very quickly and many other applications because of its simplicity. So th this is an example that's perfectly valid CSV file. This is just for illustration purposes. Um, uh, fruit uh, comma uh, this is the header and then the, this is the data we know with so as with python white space important here each row is separated by a new line character while columns within the row are separated by commas hence the comma separated notation so other forms of csv files sometimes called character separated value files you use tabs or other characters to separate rows sometimes pipes but these file formats are less common and less widely supported. So if you're looking to download a CSV file directly from the web and store them locally without any parsing or modification, then you don't need to follow along. So simply download them like you would any other file and save them with the CSV file format using the method described in the previous section. So modifying a CSV file, or CSV file or even creating a one entirely from scratch, it is, ex it is it is extremely easy with Python's CSV library. So what this does is um, it we import CSV file and then we put uh, our uh, CS test CSV file in this variable uh, and it will create this CS file if it doesn't exist or exist or it will or it will overwrite it if it exists so a little bit of caution there and then we have a trip try uh, exception handling and uh, we don't have an exception handle here but we have a try and finally uh, um, um, block here we put the writer which is the csv writer and then read the csv file in the writer and then we write our header which is number number plus two and number times two and then we loop over with the range from zero to ten and we write the values and the number and number plus two and the number times two and then we close the csv file so if you run this file we don't have a test csv here but here we have it it's created this line and if you don't put new line here uh, in windows it will create give an extra space here so just remember that so put a new line here so 
As I mentioned, a precautionary reminder is to file creation in Python is fairly bulletproof. So if, for example, slash file slash test dot CSV does not ex already exist, Python will create the file, but not the directory automatically. Uh, if it already exists, Python will overwrite test CSV with the new data. So one common web scraping task is to retrieve an HTML table and write it as a CSV file. So we have a table at this location, which is comparison of text editors on uh, Wikip uh, Wikipedia. Uh, and it provides a fairly complex HTML table complete with color coding, link sorting, and other HTML garbage that needs to be discarded before it can be written to CSV. So we can use beautiful soup and the get text function copiously, and we can create that in fewer than 20 lines. So this is the code. We import the CSV file and we call import the URL requests and URL up open from URL request. And we import beautiful soup from BSV4 and we have our URL in the HTML object and then we call our beautiful soup object on in, in this variable and then we put the table uh, from uh, we uh, put the table uh, in this line we are where we are using beautiful soups object find all uh, method and we look for the table and the class wiki table which we can see here in a second this one table class wiki table and what we are and we are looking for the first table this is what it means the first table and then we find all the table rows and we put them in rows as a list and then we uh, create a new uh, file which is called editors.csv again here we open in a WT mode and and we have a new line uh, which is empty uh, spaces then we in the writer we put our CSV file to read the file uh, to uh, excuse me to where we need to write the file not to read and then we loop over rows uh, and in we uh, define our uh, we, we, we um, loop over the rows in this list and we create a new empty list here and then for each cell in row we find a Ta uh, table data and table headers and we append the text of those cells in the CSV row list and then we route write the row that we collect in this list to our CSV file and then we close uh, our CSV file so let's try to run it And it should create a editors.csv file here in a second. And there we have our CSV file. So, so the result should be a well formatted CSV file saved locally in your current working uh, directory. Uh, and this is perfect for sending and sharing with folks who haven't quite gotten the hang of MySQL yet. And that's what we are going to talk about in the next video, MySQL, how to store data in MySQL. So one note uh, before you implement this in a real life is that this script is great to integrate into scrapers if you encounter many HTML tables that need to be converted to CSV files or many HTML tables that need to be collected into a single CSV file. However, if you just need to do it once, there's a better tool for that, that is copying and pasting selecting and copying all of the content of an HTML table and pasting it 
it into Excel. We'll get you the CSV file you're looking for uh, without running a script. So that is the final note. And again, thank you so much for watching this video and tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe, hit the like button, share the share the video, do comment. And remember, you can have access to all of these, these two files that are shown in this tutorial. You can have access to them in the description below. So that way help, you can help me uh, to support me for so I can create more content for you guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where we are going to talk about MySQL, storing data in MySQL database. Okay, bye guys.